This is a powerful lesson in how persistence and some luck can lead investigators and a family to a remarkable break. In 1984, someone found a young man's body in Carkeek Park. The King County Medical Examiner tried to identify him and find his family, but they kept running into walls. All they had was his physical description and fingerprints. They didn't use DNA technology back then. Decades passed and still no leads. So we really needed that vital clue from a family member to come forward and say, hey, I think I might know who this is. That clue finally surfaced when a woman from out of state who was searching for her uncle recently approached the medical examiner and said the car geek John Doe might be her relative. The woman dug up a letter her uncle sent in 1981. King County fingerprint specialists pored over the paper and spotted something. So those incredible workers were able to lift two very faint latent prints off that letter 39 years later. One of the prints matched the body from the park. That's just huge and very out of the box. We've never done it before. John Doe now has a name. He's Mark Ashland. His family finally has an answer. We never give up on our unidentifieds. We know that everybody deserves their name when after they die. They shouldn't die anonymously. The King County Medical Examiner's Office says there are more than 50 people whose remains are still unidentified. They say it's essential that families do not give up hope because sometimes it's that one little clue that can help solve a mystery. At Carkeek Park, Ted Land, King 5 News.